Okay, everyone, I'm going to do a little Minecraft tutorial now that the new version has come out. If you want to follow along, the random seed will be ID Monty. So let's start this up. So if this is your first time playing Minecraft, you're going to be really confused as to like what the goal is. And really, there there is no goal, per se. Um, it's pretty much survive and build whatever you want. So right now I'm going to be punching trees. Uh, this is pretty basic for your uh, first uh, your first thing to do as Minecraft starts. I know it seems a little weird, but this is going to be for survival. We are going to try to survive our first night. And for that, we're going to need plenty of wood. So I'm going to keep on punching some trees until I get about 10, 12 pieces of wood. Sorry for the uh, little lag there. So we're going to use this wood for a lot of things. It can be turned into wooden planks, which then can be used to build like doors, chests, swords, and uh, then we can use it to get sticks. Um, when you destroy a, the base of a tree, its leaves start to hang. Uh, you, it'll drop saplings, which you can replant and it'll grow into new trees. This game kind of has like a environmental message. You better plant some trees for the future. But anyway, we're gonna go find a like a little hillside or something to build into. That way we don't have to waste all our time building a house or something. We can do that on our second day. So I'm gonna just quickly try to find some place to uh, barricade myself into. Uh, everything is mineable in Minecraft. Some things uh, cheap, you can punch it. That's a cow. Some things just take way longer to mine than other other things. So I think I'll head over there. Uh, you can pick up water. You can't mine it. I guess you would need a bucket, which needs iron, which comes from iron ore, which you have to smelt in a furnace. But we'll get to that later. Right now, I'm just punching some sheep, getting their wool. That way I can make a, a bed. That way we don't have to live through the first night, we can just sleep through it. It's our life a lot, lives a lot easier. I kind of wanted to go to this spot, but now I don't. How about over here? That little thing. So here we go. Those are some cactus, cacti. Uh, you can punch those. And turn it into a. Uh, you can press I to bring up your inventory and your little crafting table. Um, you can smelt cactus in a furnace and get a uh, green wool or green dye, sorry, which then you can use to get green wool. But uh, I'll go over that later. If we have time tonight, I will definitely do that. But for right now. What we want to do is get over here. We can see some coal already in the this uh, block with all these little black spots. It's coal. So let's make a crafting table. So first, let's take our wood and turn it all into wood planks. You just kind of click, and then you place one on each of the boxes, and you get a crafting table. So let's uh, place our crafting table. Click it. And let's make some sticks. Sticks are just wooden planks on top of each other. Now, here's what I think is the cool part of uh, crafting. This makes it a, a pick. So, like, here's the handle, and here's the pick part. So let's hit that. And this is the handle for an axe. And the axe is just this part. So an axe works well against uh, trees. A pick works on stone, coal, things of that nature. So I'm going to just mine these pieces of coal. I'll also show you how to survive if you don't find coal, but don't worry about that. If you do a different map and you can't find coal anywhere, then uh, there are still ways to uh, survive your first night. Okay, cool. So let's make a little hole into this mountain. 
and we'll make it our little hidey hole. Uh, this is kind of boring, I know, but uh, this is very important. So we're going to set up our little hidey hole. That way we're not exposed to the elements when night comes, because uh, then all sorts of monsters come out. And we do not want to be around for that. Some of them explode. Some of them shoot you with arrows. It's just not good. And without any armor on or anything, we would be toast. So let me punch my... Uh, little workbench. This pops up, I get it back. That does not work for uh, furnaces. Once you place a furnace, it is uh, stuck there. Okay, so at the workbench, make a furnace. So a furnace is like the whole, squ like a square without the middle part. So we get the furnace, put it here, and then we're, let's make a chest, which is the exact same thing as a furnace, except with wooden planks. Okay, so let's place those uh, here. Let's uh, expand that little height here. And you'll see why I'm expanding it in a bit. I will explain everything. So, okay, first things first. We have coal, we just put those on top of sticks and we get torches, which light up the area. Let's just put some outside, that way monsters don't spawn right next door. Uh, if you don't, you end up in an area that doesn't have any coal. This is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get some wood and build a furnace really quick. Go to your furnace. And this bottom part is the fuel. This top part is what you're going to burn. And it's like a one-to-one -one ratio for wood. So I'm going to get one charcoal for every two pieces of wood I use. Um... Oh yeah, let's make a bed for the night. That way we don't have to live through the torment. A bed is just wool and wooden planks. So right there. And right there. And we don't want it next to our opening, our door. Oh, I looked like a door. I almost forgot about that. A door is just the left half of the or the left two thirds of the crafting area. Or I think it could be the right two thirds. All it needs to be is in the shape of a door. So there's our door. Here's a little bed. Now I'm going to put a little, I guess, like a wall between door and bed. That way I don't get attacked. Or I'm sleeping, which would be very bad. So let's plant some trees. That way, for the future, for the future we have a lot of wood to work with. I mean, there's tons of forest, but we don't want to keep going all the way out there to find stuff. Um, so the sun is finally going down. I can show you guys a couple other, other cool things about this game. So let's do, uh, first we can use our old charcoal, burn some cactus. I'm going to make a sword. Oh, um, wood tools are good, but stone tools are even better. And even better than that are steel tools. And even better than that are diamond tools. And But diamonds are really rare to find. So uh, in case we get hurt, uh, let's kill some pigs to get some pork chops. Uh, pork chops by themselves aren't very good to uh, heal with. But if you put them in the furnace, then you get uh, cooked pork chops, which work very well. Uh, over here we have some mushrooms. We can make mushroom soup with them. We do need uh, another type of mushroom to do that, though. We need like, this brown mushroom and these uh, uh, red mushrooms. 
until then, like, they're not useful at all. Um, the world can be practically infinite, as Notch has said, the maker of Minecraft. Uh, so really, it's just up to you to discover it to, if you want to, or you can just build. I know I prefer the building, and our sun is going down, so I'm going to go back to our tidy hole and sleep out the night. Oh, next time, I will show you what you can do on day two. Uh, let's just place some of our unnecessary equipment in here. Go to bed. Okay, thank you everyone. See you next time.